Madden, we got to talk. Yo, Ski, what's up, everybody, man? Y'all know who I be. It's your man, Pooh, C-Y-G-G. And today I'm mad right now. I'm mad because I seen people saying, yo, just wait for June 30th. Madden is going to give y'all the franchise information you really want. Bro, I went and I looked at that, bro. We got a big-ass patch note, bro. Now, mind you, I'm not going to pretend like, oh, the rise to fame mode that is, that is being inserted within Madden is not good. No, it's actually good. And matter of fact, let's go down some of those things. Number one, you get to start off, you know what I'm saying, doing your little college thing. You get to pick from a lot of college teams. Oh, and even better, you get to actually play two full seasons. And we don't even know what two full seasons mean. That can actually be like six to eight games. I don't I don't even know, but you know what? Let, 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 let's just say two full seasons just for the sake of them. You know what I'm saying? Let's use that. Also get to use the combine. Oh, you get to run the 40 and all that stuff to make your player better. Wow, this is crazy. Cause we're we're gonna we're, let, let, let's keep this going real quick. Cause I'm about to see if this applies to the other modes as well. This is the last one. I know this is gonna make a lot of you guys happy. You get to start off from high school. And guess what? Let's take a look at those high school logos. Oh man, I mean, just look at those high school logos. Don't those high school logos look familiar? I mean, I'm I'm beyond. They look new to me. They look pretty damn new to me. Bro, I done built my channel up off the relocation uniforms and allowing people to come to my channel and look at the uniforms to see, hey, man, this is how I would want to deck my player out if I go to this uniform, you know what I'm saying, if I relocate to this place and want to choose this specific uniform. Bro, if you look at that, basically, they didn't gave the high school teams the relocation uniform. Like, I, I don't understand that. So with that being said, the high school teams having the relocation uniform, do you not know how that makes CFM look? So in other words, when I'm in the NFL, when I relocate now, I'm, my team is going to be relocating wearing high school uniforms? Bro, it is stupid, and I don't understand it. In the same way that y'all gave Rise to Fame the um, Scout and Combine, let me guess. I bet Franchise Mode don't got the Scout and Combine either, huh? Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, yeah. That's when I leave. Wait a minute. Let me guess. Also, um... I, look, I bet in Rise to Fame, you get to use that face editing tool, too, when you get to, you know, choose the hairstyles and the face structure of your player. I bet that's not even in franchise mode either, ain't it? Huh. I don't understand this stuff, bro. It, it pisses me off, man, because all we're asking for is simple stuff. I've been asking for something simple this whole damn time. You know what I've been asking for that's simple that, I, that makes me know that they're not going to actually tamper with franchise mode? I asked them to add all the alternate uniforms when you relocate instead of having to choose one set of uniforms having all the uniforms as alternate now mind you these are aesthetics within the game they can go within franchise mode and tune this within 10 to 20 minutes and have us getting new uniforms that won't take that big of a patch and if they're not willing to do that which takes minimal effort then you know for a fact they're not going to give us scout and combine actual articles about our players um actual good development between our players. like they're not going to give us those backstories and those storylines we actually want within the franchise mode if they can't even give us something simple as alternate damn uniforms what makes it even what makes it even worse bro is you got to think about it from the standpoint of mutt bro because mutt you already know they're going to get new uniforms they're going to get a new thanksgiving set of uniforms they're going to get a new christmas set of uniforms they're going to get a new halloween pack of uniforms oh yeah and then they're going to get um, Mutt Championship players themed uniforms as well. You can't forget about those. I don't understand that. Now, I understand Mutt players, y'all gonna come out and be like, well, you know, we spend the most money in the game. So since we spend the most money in the game, they're gonna invest mostly in our mode. Well, let me tell your Duke butt stank ass something real quick because you, it's something you don't know. If you actually go look at Superstar KO mode, we don't pay for Superstar KO mode. We ain't investing a whole lot of money within Superstar KO mode. I mean, but you can make the argument that it's a highly marketed mode that gets the game as a whole sales. So I guess you can make that argument. But even with that being said, Superstar mode, Superstar KO mode, excuse me, is not a mode that brings in a lot of money within that mode specifically. And they got what, eight new uniforms? Other than the Madden relocation uniforms that have the same relocation uniform since Madden 15? Are you? Bro, are you 
Man, this is sad, bro. Cause it, it, what makes it even better, and what surprised me today, is that I actually seen game changers just as outraged. I seen game changers be outraged for today, and I'm happy about that. I'm glad that stuff like this is actually bringing the Madden community together. I hope that stuff like this continue to bring the Madden community as a whole together. Don't go out there promoting this damn game saying that, oh man, that everything's good, when something as simple as the franchise mode has not been improved. Understand, bro. Y'all, I mean, the, we we know, like, we, we are settling right now. We understand that, yo, we're not going to get a better overall gameplay game because it's Frostbite Engine. So the best they can do is patch over the Frostbite Engine. But franchise mode, bro, patching over that, no, you, can, you guys can actually do a complete overhaul of franchise mode, bro. But instead, y'all put all that effort into Rise to Fame mode. Not everybody plays Mutt, bro. Not everybody wants to, you know, put all their money into Mutt. And for those who are saying like, yo, man, we just don't buy the game and stuff like that. Bro, I wish just not buying the game worked, bro. I wish that worked. I'm going to tell you why it don't work. Me not wasting my $60 is not going to cover for the player who plays Mutt and play, plays the game so deep that they're gonna spend $300 within the mutt damn game mode. My $60 takeaway is not gonna do nothing to him because he's multiplying my $6 by five or whatever, man. He's spending, this dude's spending $300, bro. Me not spending nothing is not gonna compare to this man spending above quadruple my amount. Cause it's just gonna cover the sales that didn't get sold. Because he's going to be heavily invested within the game mode that requires excessive spending. And if, if not buying it doesn't help, then what can we do? What can we do is if they actually allow 2K to make a football game. If they actually allow 2K to make a football game, then what we would be able to do as gamers, we would be able to use our platforms to drive streams, streams and marketing and value to another company, bigging that company up, allowing the NFL to be like, yo, we should invest more into 2K because this game seems to be getting more of a better crowd response and they seem to be more pleased with the product that's being sold over here. And at the same time, because you can't just tell people not to buy something and don't provide them with an alternative because then they're gonna end up buying it anyway because there's nothing else to go to. Imagine you telling a person Yo, it's one bottle of water in the fridge. No other water in this vicinity works. But guess what? We know that's the only bottle of water in the fridge. Just don't drink it no matter how thirsty you get. That person after a while is going to get so thirsty to the point they're going to be like, man, I mean, I know I'm not supposed to drink this water. I know I'm not supposed to go for it. But damn, I'm thirsty. And bro, I just, that's the only option. That's what I got to get. And that's the same thing for a lot of us football game players. We have a thirst for a better game, but due to this being our only option, we have to sacrifice it for that because that's the only option we have. If there was another option, for example, there was juice in the fridge, we'll go for that. If there was 2K on the um, sales rack, we'll go for that. We're not asking Madden to put every bit of resource they have into franchise mode we're just asking them to improve it so we can have fun and for those saying yo you don't know about what to play franchise mode, i am a former competitive madden player i was in the top five i was in the top three i have played against other competitive players and for those competitive players who are watching this video right now they know what everything i'm about to say is facts once you get into the top 10 you end up going against the same damn people anyway you end up going against the same damn group of people that run the same damn plays that got them into the top five and to the top 10 in the first place. I went against Cino Gotti. I played against Skimbo. Whoop Skimbo ass. I didn't beat Cino Gotti though. I'm not gonna lie and say I did that. Have I competed in the top top of the top Madden tournament? No, because after a while, it's like I always get tired of the game because trying to play competitive and go against the same people running the same defensive damn schemes, the same blitz schemes, and the same offensive scheme gets tiring and draining after a while. It's just rinse and repeat. Whereas when you get to play franchise mode and develop a backstory and actually relax without coming constant um, blitzing and nanos and stuff like that, you are more relaxed. So don't come at me and think that, yo, man, this guy wasn't a competitive player, so he don't understand. No, I understand. I was a competitive player. I got away from that because it just got boring. And yet we're sitting right here getting a huge ass patch note. And if your favorite YouTuber, your favorite Madden YouTuber come out and say, 
Oh, man, this game, man, 21 going to be great, dog. It's going to be good. Oh, look at the new graphics. And they only focus on that, and they don't even point out the fact that Franchise Mode didn't get a, a, a good addition. They don't give a damn about you as a viewer. They don't give a damn about you as a um, franchise player. They don't give a damn about you as a fan. They only care about pushing their market, keeping their Game Changer logo on them, and doing their thing. They don't give a damn about everything else, bro. Because right now, we already know Madden 21, the Frostbite engine can only push so far. Before we continuously have the same game. Unless they overhaul the engine. Bro, look out for the Madden franchise player, bro. Not everybody is trying to spend money on the game constantly. Your YouTuber shouldn't be enticing you with a mode that tells you to keep spending your mother's money or your own hard-earned money on a mode that's going to be drenching your pockets. They should be pushing you towards a mode that allows you to relax and get the overall experience of football and entertain yourself without having to empty your pockets. I don't even care if you love superstar mode. At least you don't got to spend money in superstar mode. And I respect that. But I'm glad that some of the community is coming together, man. Shout out to all those people who are talking about it, man. CBT, all these guys. I've even seen Sim Football Critic, who I was critical of at one point, say the things about franchise mode. And I respect that, man. Ryan Moody, Soft Drink, CB, man. Everybody just keep pushing the platform, man, because it's not good right now, man. But let me know what you guys think, man. Until next time, it's your man Pooh. See you, YGG. I'm out.